that you iguana hey guys i just walked out this building from checking in and there's an iguana sitting in the bush with his head sticking out like he's a freaking piece of fruit or something so uh he's only about 10 yards we do have the building as a backstop and i already moved the gun to low power um i'm doing like a six or seven hold no i changed my mind i'm gonna do like a four hold Seem to catch him in the chest. Let me try that again. There we go. Let's see. They both caught him in the head. Hang on, I can't hold this like this. They both caught him in the head, but uh, one of them was just a little too low for him, so we had to catch him again. On this side, we got him in the eye, so got you iguana, first one, and we haven't been here two minutes. Little bitty guy right here, shooting on low power. Got a second one. To go around and grab them we just have to let the tesla pass by hey guys we got another iguana that's right here sticking his head out the bushes I'm gonna try to get this tree as a backstop if he's still there oh he's still there he's still there he's right here i can't see him from this angle well there he is i see him i see him Still shooting on low. I'm going to turn it back up to high because I got a tree as a backstop. Should have been him. Shooting this way. There he is shaking. I just got to go grab him. Somebody put on the last video is off my game on the last video. I kind of agree. So uh, I'm happy with the couple of shots we've gotten so far. And hopefully I can get back on point with that topic. The tiniest hatchling on this tree. Not quite what I'm looking for, but if I see him again, I'm going to shoot him. Right there. Get my power down on this guy. <laughs> I flipped him. He's right there flopping around. So you just fell in. <laughs> I got you, Iguana. Hey guys, I'm gonna grab the ghost because there's a nice iguana way, way over across the water. But first, we're gonna try to grab this close up iguana. So I just turned my power down to 10. This is a 177 uh, BRK ghost. He's really stinking close. The gun is completely fogged over from being in the truck. I'm doing like a four hole. Got him. He liked it that time. But there's a bigger one over there that we're gonna try to go get real quick. You can see that guy's got a nice leak going on already. We go ahead and dial the power all the way back up to 20. You can see the dial allows you to go up to max here. This guy's about 40 yards away. Maybe more. I got a real clean backstop taking the shot from right here. Let me move my parallax to 40. 
Everything's wet. It's a 177. It's a really small hole in these guys. You like that one. He was on the move for me at first, but that last one worked. You can see he's doing the tail wag of surrender. And uh, 177 came through. The Atomic definitely wouldn't have cut it for this shot. That's why we ran and got it. So it's nice to have some versatile guns around and uh, different options. Got you, Iguana. We're headed over here to pick up the Iguana that we shot with the 177 Ghost. Uh, but sometimes they're in the trees too, so we're looking for other Iguanas at the same time. point out to you what they've done here is iguanas have dug behind the seawall so they filled it with concrete and then they dug behind that so they filled it with concrete again and then iguanas just dig behind that again so that's not the way to fix holes from iguanas the way to fix them is to call iguana solutions so here's our guy that uh the ghost got check out the shot uh my first shot i uh, flinched and it went low and hitting somewhere in the chest is what i'm expecting but the second one um, that got him was right here in, in the head. And happy with that, we shot from way over there. Got you a buck. Okay, guys, there was an iguana that we spotted over there. One just ran that way. It's probably going to go up that bottle brush tree. I'm going to watch for him. See if he goes there. There's a, there's a little guy right here, but there's a boat backstop. There was a good size of one around this corner if he's still there. Here's the good one. Here's the big one. Just over the stairs. spinning in the water for us right here doing a little water dance if he grabs onto those barnacles see they'll do that see he's still dying he's all the way underwater he's not even holding his head up we'll come back and be able to snag him off those barnacles with the pole got you iguanas Skyler ran and got the pole to put in the water about 20 yards away right here try to grab him Like 12 yards. Like
Stop this one way farther down the wall. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got the one that fell in the water and the one that's on the wall. We have the other one in the water over there. And we have one more run in the wall right here. We're going to see if we can get them all. Got you, Iguanas. So we're going to go ahead and pull this guy out the water. This is one of the uh, ones we just shot that was like four or five iguanas in a row. Uh, luckily, the tide's down right now. Low tide. It does not want to go over his neck. That's ridiculous. There we go. Looks like we got him right above the ear. So, gonna grab the rest of the iguanas. There's one more little guy I'm gonna try to shoot, but my cameraman doesn't feel well, so we'll get back with you. Just got him. I just ran out of pellets and I'm gonna go grab another bag. But I shot like four or five of the ones right here. There was like 10, 12 of them. There's some floating in the water. There's one in the water there. This, this guy's been de eyed. Show them the others floating around, and some of them are still sneaking down the wall. There's a giant iguana right here. There he is, there he is, there he is. Right here. Of course I wasn't loaded. Where'd he go? He's caught right here on this tree. Oh, he already got it. Good. Like that. There he is. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh. 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 Okay, guys, so uh, it's really hard to grab the iguanas in the water with the broken hand. They said that I've done too much and that it's still really broken and not healing. So um, I, I tried to grab it with my left hand and I ended up kneeling on these rocks because I can't support my weight with my right hand. And I think I did something special to my knee now. So um, what this big boy was who we just grabbed. This is the type of stuff they're dealing with here, clearly from the giant poops and um, from all the holes. They actually have quite a few holes behind these corners of these trees and uh, they've been going underneath the pool deck so we're going to clear out some iguanas they're going to fix this property so that they can't dig under the new pool deck and we'll be able to resolve their situation pretty easily with a few traps and a few air gun shots got you iguana we got one more good size iguana right here on the right side of the property line so we're going to go ahead and grab him just over 10 yards Come see, come see. Oh, 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 oh. He's still alive though. I did get him through the years. There you are. Got him twice in the heat. Ooh, he likes it. Look at that. That's a 10 hole whenever they're only just a couple yards away from you. And then the other one. Broken hand failed me again. <laughs> I gotta get this hand healed so that I can hold on to these things. <laughs> Got one of them. <laughs> what happened? What happened, buddy? 
What happened? What you doing? Oh no. Well what? Were you up here and pooping on their fence? What do you have to say for yourself? I think we got you finally. Look at him in his little Lakota house. I made the house so he can't die in the sun. Got you, iguana. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back at our weekly visit over here at the seawall job. There's always iguanas along the seawall and docks here, and there's a good size iguana right here. I'm actually going to take it from over here because there's a wooden backstop if we take it from here. Try to catch him before he runs. He's thinking about it, I can tell. He's just a silhouette, if you can see. He is about 20 yards, though. caught him too much in the face. He's right there. He's going to jump in the water if we do this wrong. We've got to go this way. Come this way. Here we go. I'll wait for you. Right around 10 yards. Trying to go up that tree. It's right there at the wall. I'm going for the one at the wall. Didn't I get him? Hang on, let me get a good fit. Barely swimming right there, might give it a grab. Him. I saw two iguanas over here, they're not huge, but this place doesn't get huge iguanas. I'm almost out of pellets. So one is up over the wood. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Can you get this tree? Bright green boy up there over the wood. We get the flippity flip. We got a guy that just ran out in the grass and I'm out of pellets. Hang on, I think they're in my pocket. Here we go. shadow there he goes man we lost them all today to the water got an iguana over here that's sneaking along the wall he's steady moving try to get a shot on him real quick loading the pellet with him there and he stayed on the wall for me That other one fell in the water over here that we shot a minute ago. You can see the spray here. They're just sinking to the bottom today and the water's just black. So we can't recover any of them. But we have six in hand today. And we had at least four sink in the water, if not six. So got you iguanas. We've only been here about 45 minutes. And we'll come back for another visit soon. 
fighter, another guy, they like to sit at the top of these uh, Chefalera type trees. This is what keeps happening to me here. They said I've only gotten two here, but I've really gotten like 12. They all fall right here and sink. All of them. All of them. They fall right here. And it's always dark right here. It's never clear water. I can never see them. Another sinker. Got an iguana right here. They think we've only gotten a few. Iguana removal, don't come around that corner. I'm afraid a guy's gonna come around the corner, so I gotta get all the way up here. Uh, safety's all over here. Waiting a shot. Got him. So here, oh, it's starting with King Car. And you can see here that the water is actually in the trap right now. And in the next week or two, it's going to get even up and maybe even over this wall. Um, for a few weeks out of the year, usually around October, November, we end up getting uh, this king tide where the tide from the pull of the moon, when it's the closest, comes up over people's docks and all the way to backyards on some of these homes. It's wild. Guys, we just pulled up and there's a little iguana right here. Not sure if y'all can see him on top of this, but I got a tree backstop. I'm gonna uh, lower my power so I don't get some crazy ricochet. Shooting on the second power here. Hey, 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 wait just a second. Wait, wait. I'm gonna shoot an iguana right here. I'm gonna shoot an iguana. We're done. You're good, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. Look, 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 it went in this eye and out that eye. Little bitty guy right here, still shooting on second power. Hit less than 10 yards. Oh no, he moved. Don't move. Stand still. Stand still. Got him right before he went by the car. <laughs> Look at him flipping. Man, it was right before he went in front of that wheel. Okay guys, I'm in a spot that's really hard to find the iguanas and as soon as I pulled up, I spotted this guy up there. There's a, a branch from this angle right behind his head because I don't want to shoot off in the craziness over here. Um, probably around 20 yards up there. Right under the chin. Oh, he felt like a torpedo. Kicking for us. Got you, Iguana. <laughs> We're gonna sneak the Iguana right here. We're gonna lose him if he runs. Just an eyeball. Hit two. Got him. First shot was too low. Definitely dead though. <laughs> Got that iguana. The other one sunk right here. These are not ones that swim off. You can see him right there on the bottom. Very dead. Well, I'm real happy with that. Yesterday I came around the other corner of the house and all three iguanas ran this way and went up in that bamboo. And it's not a safe shot, so I had to leave them alone. 
So today we came around this side, but I can't get through these bushes. So we shook the bushes so the iguanas didn't want to run. They're afraid. And then we come here and take the shots and they're hesitant to run past the bushes. And it worked. Got you iguanas.